All right, this video is for Lori from A Life Deliberate. She had asked to see my package. So, uh, <laughs> here it is. And I have different ones, um, two different designs that I do. There's that one. This one's a little beat up because it's been around for a little bit, but I don't know if you can see that. Is it focusing? Yeah, I think so. All right, that is it on that one. And then, um... I always do the um, the layover part. I don't know how to explain it. I always do the layover part of the plastic, usually on the front half. I don't know. This one might actually be backwards, but that way there's less plastic. Yeah, this one's backwards, but usually there's less plastic on the back half, so it's really see-through, so you can see the design back there. And then um, the front half is usually where more of the, the plastic packaging is. So that's that. And then if I think they're either um, more towards guys or just different like in a face soap or something, and I might actually do more colors, but then I do the, the blue and the green together. This one's the Cool Citrus Basil. And let me flip it over. I don't like to cover up the design, so the design is there. And then I... Um, snip off the corners so that it has plenty of breathing space and then um, people can smell them at the corners and stuff too. So that's what that is. And I use different colored ribbons. I have like four different colored ribbons I use. They all match, you know, it's the, the blue and the green and the orange and the pink. So that one's a tea tree name. These are hard to wrap and I don't know if I'm going to keep it this way or not. But um, the circle one's just kind of a pain um, to wrap. Raspberry lemonade. And then you can see the design on the back. And then I also have like my face ones. I do in, in this shape right here. So um, that one's tea tree and sea buckthorn. Nothing to look at there, but there's the um, what's in it. And I don't think I have what's in it on that one. Let's see. Yeah, that's what's in it there. So that's where all that goes. It's on the underneath. I think on these, it just goes on the back. And you had asked me about my watermelon scent for the watermelon soap. And um, I told you I'd tell you in a week or two whether I still liked it. And I like it a lot. It actually, you know, at first I wasn't so sure because it, you know, they kind of have that chemical fake candy smell going on to them, but it has really mellowed out to just a really nice, ooh, I like that. I do like it. Um, a really nice, mellow um, watermelon that you can tell is watermelon, but it's not real fakey. And I think it'll probably even get um, better. So where I got it from is um, someone else on here, and I can't remember who it was, had said in their videos that they had gotten a bunch of um, one ounce samplers from uh, Candle Science. And so um, they were on sale for 99 cents at that point. So I ordered, shoot, enough to do like 35 loaves. Um, just trying different, different kinds. This one's obviously not, ooh, it's got soap on there. Um, this is not the watermelon one, but this is what it was. It was Candle Science, and I got them for 99 cents for one ounce. I just bought two of each one, so I could make a two-pound loaf of each one. And so far, I'm having pretty good luck with most of them. Um, I think there were a couple that, uh, yeah, Day at the Spa and Mimosa and Mandarin, I think, those accelerated pretty good and I don't even remember on their website if it says or anything I, I don't even know if I checked I think I was just like thrilled to go try a bunch of new scents so the scent for watermelon is from Candle Science and it's pretty good I like it a lot so I haven't tried any other ones so I wouldn't know anything else to compare it to but there you go have a good one bye